All right, everyone, I am in Dodge City, Kansas, the old historic western town. I am in the historic downtown, actually, right now. It looks very quiet right now because it's around 8 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday. I'm trying to beat the heat. It's supposed to get above 100 today here in mid-July. We were here yesterday afternoon, and this downtown was full of people. So this is not a... Uh, dead downtown. Anyway, uh, Dodge City has a fascinating history. The first home was built here in 1871. A year later, the first business was built. It was a bar in a tent, <laughs> which uh, means that I like this town already. Meanwhile, Texas cattle have become uh, in demand, Longhorns. And the cowboys from Texas would herd the cattle up here to be sold uh, all across Kansas. But they developed a fever. They called it uh, Longhorn Cattle Fever. And so the state of Kansas quarantined the majority of the state, not allowing them in, except for Dodge City. So these uh, cowboys started bringing the Texas Longhorns to Dodge City and overnight it became a boom town. They've got a big statue of a longhorn over here, a Texas longhorn, signifying its important place in history. They started bringing the cattle up to Dodge City, as I said. The city boomed, and this is what happened. These cowboys would be on the trail for, geez, I don't know, weeks, months at a time, bringing these cattle up from Texas here into Dodge City. And once they got here, they're ready to party. I mean, these most likely young men. So, almost overnight, saloons, gambling halls, brothels sprung up and the city became, as a result of this, a hive of villainous activity. S Dodge City soon became known as the wickedest little city in the USA. Wyatt Earp was a police officer here, a lawman, and so was Bat Masterson. Both of those men became legendary and famous for their exploits. Anyway, I am just kind of walking up here. I'm going to take a look at a few things downtown. But we were talking about that quarantine. The state of Kansas finally extended it past Dodge City, and then everything died. All the gunfighters, brothels, gambling houses, saloons. Most of them closed down, everybody left, and Dodge City returned to a quiet, sleepy little western town. It's a real nice mural there on what looks like the tallest building in town. Most of these buildings were built in the late 1800s, early 1900s. The whole city is and this part is historical. It feels nice this morning. It's about 8.20 now. It's a little bit of a breeze, but it's not going to last long. It's supposed to hit 102 today. Yeah, here we go. First National Bank, Dodge City, founded in 1901. Yeah. Now there's something over here I want to show you. So I'm going to head this way. Want to see this statue here, modeled after the chief of police uh, in 1933. Uh, let's see, what I, his name is Joe. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. S-U-G-H-R-U-E. It's right here next to the Boot Hill Distillery. I wanna buy some liquor here later today. Pretty good view of downtown from here. I'm on a little hill. And uh, right over here is the uh, museum, the Boot Hill Museum. I will be grabbing the wife and we will be going to it later. You can see it right there. Uh, on the other side of the museum is this, the old western town that they've built. It's a big tourist attraction here. You can see the top of the, the old buildings here. But it looks like uh, the old west from the late 1800s. You go through the museum, and then you can go out on the other end, 
into this old western town and they have a gunfight at 6.30 every day so we will be doing that later today so uh, yeah you'll be able to see on the other side of those later today and see this old west town it looks really cool so looking forward to that anyway I'm gonna head this way now here's a quick little peek of that uh, old west town you can see it on the other side of the fence here yeah that's where uh, I will be bringing the wife later to watch the gunfight of course that's the museum right there now one of the most beloved long-running television shows in history was set right here in Dodge City of course I'm talking about Gunsmoke if you're a little bit older like me you most likely watched the show I did I love that show anyway it was set right here in Dodge City and they named this street Gunsmoke Street in honor of him so that's a pretty cool thing that they did okay this is La Salsa Man one of the uh, oddities here in the town this statue was commissioned by Dennis Hopper the uh, amazing actor one of my favorite all times he was so awesome an easy rider and I particularly loved him in one of my all-time favorite movies Waterworld love that movie he played the villain in it he was so great but yeah, he uh, commissioned this, had it put here in Dodge City, his hometown where he was born. It's modeled after Mobile Man, it says, uh, the statue in Los Angeles. Or was it? Okay, yeah. Both of these are known as Muffler Man. They're 26 feet tall. Uh, we drove by it yesterday. And I was like, I got to stop by and see that. That is so cool. <laughs> all right so still nice and quiet a little bit of a breeze but it is getting hotter quick I'm gonna jump in the Bronco check out a couple neighborhoods and a couple of the other things here in the city and then like I said I will grab the wife and we'll go from there all right I am on gun smoke uh, getting ready to go out into the city and look around a bit now, I'll give you an idea of the layout here. Of course, I'm right here. This is the main street of Dodge City. Dodge City is a little different than most cities in that the main street is kind of on the side of town. The great majority of the town is up this way, north. So I'm going to head up into here a little bit, take a look, and uh, see what's going on. Check out a couple of the neighborhoods close by downtown. And there's some other things to see here. So I'm gonna go over there as well and take a look. I'm fascinated by this house. Look at it. It's like mostly, well, the front of it is underground. Interesting. And there's several like this. This one's like that as well. I've never seen that before. I mean, here's one right here too. The majority of the homes are underground. That would certainly help with uh, utilities, wouldn't it? Even though, appearance-wise, don't know if I care for it. They've got some interesting looking uh, homes here. I really like them. all unique in design none of this cookie cutter suburbia here or at least in this part of town yeah I like that this house is for rent if you're thinking about moving to Dodge City see I like that big porch love that These are the best kind of houses. If they're uh, well kept and maintained, it's even better. 
Anyway, I am uh, show you where I'm at. I'm kind of in the middle of the city, up north. It's not a huge city. About 27,000 people here. And uh, you can still see the brick paving. <laughs> it's uh, in a lot of the town. Anyway. He's still got his Christmas lights up. In July, see my HOA wouldn't allow that. We'd be getting the nasty letters if you had our Christmas lights still up. school here. Anyway, there's another blue house I wanted to show you. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's a lot bigger than it looks. Huh. All right, let's go see some other stuff. Okay, I am, uh, yeah, let's look at the map here. I guess you would call that the northeast area of town. And there's a country club right here, right here. I was looking for some of the uh, more expensive homes. I was guessing that they would be by a country club and sure enough. Yeah, you got some beautiful big houses here. They're all pretty old though. These look like, uh, I don't know, maybe 70s style ranch homes, some of them. Got a lot of these in Texas. Yeah, that's an interesting looking house. It's got a big courtyard there in the middle. Huge yard. That would be nice. Anyway, uh, I think I'm done traversing some of the neighborhoods here. I'm going to um, now at this time go check out some of the landmarks of the city. So yeah that's going to come up right now. Now here's one of the landmarks of the city. Uh, should be on the National Register. I'm pretty sure it is. It's called the Home of Stone. This is the last original, or let me say it this way, the oldest original structure still standing in Dodge City. Yeah, built in 1881. It is on the National Register. Mueller Schmidt House. Uh, I want to say this statue. Oh, okay, that's not it. I know there's a Wyatt Earp statue around here somewhere. That's not it. I will be going to it. Uh, sadly, it's closed. We can't go inside. But there it is. They've got a uh, trolley here. A lot of tourists come here to Dodge City. When we got here yesterday, there were uh, tour buses all over. And our hotel is full. Now, uh, just so you know, we will be doing a review of this hotel. We were doing them for a while. Then we thought people didn't care for them, so we quit. But I've since got many comments and messages saying, hey, start doing the reviews again. In particular, we will be doing it on this hotel because of its location. So yeah, be sure and hang around for the uh, hotel review. We'll tell you all about it. You're looking at the Santa Fe Depot, the uh, old train station. It's been repurposed into different things now, but I'm here to see this statue of Wyatt Earp. How awesome is that? We are in Dodge City. You got to have a statue of Wyatt Earp. It's cool. It does. It does not disappoint. Let's see what the sign here says: Wyatt Berry Stapp Earp. Dodge City Lawman, 1876-1879, erected 2004. Yeah, that's cool. Get you a nice good look at it. And then I'm gonna take a picture. 
Now this statue is of Doc Holliday. Have to have one of those too. Playing cards, reaching for his gun. <laughs> that is fantastic. This is James Arness as Marshal Matt Dillon of that incredible show Gunsmoke, which took place, as you know, right here in Dodge City. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, isn't he? All right, I'm a little bit east of town. There's supposed to be a cattle and feedlot overlook here. I think I'm being cheated. Now you can see Dodge City there. In the distance, well, not too far. Just outside of town. Pretty nice hill up here. But this is supposed to be a cattle and feed lot where we can see those particular activities in action. There's nothing here. Boo! So there's that. But it is a nice view. So it's good that uh, you can see that. That is a pretty cool sign for a city, isn't it? <laughs> Dodge City. Yeah, I like that. Alright, so yeah, there's the town there. Heading in to the next destination, a historical site. Should be there in a couple minutes. I'm at a National Historic Landmark. The Santa Fe Trail remains. This is what's left of the 1200 mile long Santa Fe Trail. They have kept it preserved. Uh, you are supposed to be able to see still some remains of the tracks that the wagons and the horses left. Um, but for sure it definitely gives you a glimpse of what it must have looked like back then as you are riding your horse or pulling your wagon heading out west. left the uh, place looking just like it did. Very windy. As I understand it, it's windy here all the time and it would actually drive people crazy. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, I think you can see some of the remains over here. I'm going to take a look. All kinds of interesting plants out here. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think some of those tracks are along here. I was looking at some pictures on the internet in this re recessed area you see in front. That's where they would travel. So, yeah, that's cool. Look, even got some cactus out here. Way up in Kansas. You can see the Bronco there in the distance. Anyway, cool little piece of history. Thought it'd be interesting to see. I'm gonna end this part of the video now and uh, head back to the hotel, grab the wife, and then we are gonna go to that museum and that old western town and you're going to see a gunfight. And after that, we're going to go to one of the local restaurants, probably the distillery that's right next to it. So stay, stay where you are. All right, we are at the Boot Hill Museum. We've got uh, the wife in tow. Her name is Nicole, by the way. People have been asking. <laughs> Your name is Nicole. Not the wife in tow. Tickets were 16 each. That gets us this museum and the gunfight mm -hmm. out in the old town. Mm -hmm. So that'll be cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the gunfight. Right off the bat, we see this cool wagon. Is this a legit real one or is it a replica? 
I'm guessing replica. Definitely a replica? Are you sure? It looks I said I'm old. guessing, so of course I didn't say definitely. Look at all the nails and stuff. They look pretty old and rusty. All right, I didn't say it wasn't old and rusty, but it just seems hmm. so clean. Well, yeah. It's loaded up with goods. Ready to uh, head out west. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And you can, uh, you can rust up nails quite easily, honey. Huh? You can rust up nails quite easily. Look at this, raising a ruckus. Whiskey, women, guns, and groceries. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, uh, I was reading about uh, Dodge City and the first business here was a bar. <laughs> and it was in a tent. Some guy just set up a tent and started pouring drinks. Oh, Welcome to Hoover's Saloon. What's this? Oh, he saw me. watering hole in Buffalo City. Uh oh. It's actually the only one, but it's uh -oh. definitely the finest. We offer any you can possibly wish for. So long as it's whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Molly White Camp. One Took of Dodge war. City's earliest brothel so owners. Things. Now everyone's moving wow. west. That's what I did. But others around here, they don't want a to business escape. woman. They want to escape it. But you can't let them stop progress. Yeah, this is pretty cool. A cigar store Indian. Which would be out in the front. Dodge City, born of a barrel of whiskey. So many great things come from after drinking whiskey. I don't know, maybe a bunch of unwanted pregnancies. Well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the attire of the era. It's a little freaky that they have no heads. Hmm? It's a little freaky that they have no heads. Yeah. I don't know, especially the women ones. It's just, ah! <laughs> yeah, I like that. Wait, wait, look, look. Look, babe. Oh, wow. Huh? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Isn't that how they usually look? <laughs> yeah. Look at this mural. That's pretty cool. Oh. Everybody's having a good time in this picture. We're going to head out to the old western, the old west town. You know, this is, uh, it's going to be legit. It needs to have gambling houses, saloons, and brothels. You better have a brothel, or it's not the real deal. What do you think? Can we go in these stores? I'm sure we can. Let's well, go. Let's go look. Let's get right. going. Pretty cool. They're going to shoot you if you step on that grass. Yeah, there's the town. Had a, pump, a bunch of people here already waiting for the gunfight. Wow. They're carrying a firearms. Strictly prohibited. A $100 fine. Look at this, the Lawn Branch Saloon. Let's go see if this saloon's open. Why, oh, it's already settling down over there. Let's go see what it's like in here. Maybe we can have a shot. I wasn't sure if you we were supposed to come over here, hon. Yeah. Are you sure? We can come out here and we can walk the street, the uh, plank or the walkway, whatever it is. All right, I hope you're right. The saloon's open, let's go see it. All right, you go in first. Huh? You go in first. All right, I'm going in. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think we have a bartender there. <laughs> That's oh, cool. That is huh? cool. Huh? That is cool. Yeah, he's got to buy a hair slinging drinks. Well, don't we have to have, have a whiskey since we're here? Yeah, I'm gonna go in here real quick first. This is Another crazy. one of those uh, Indian cigar statues. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. It's actually uh, the museum. Second part of the museum is in here. Wow. Oh, do we miss a part about that? Of it? So this is where you get your hair cut and a shave. Looks like. Apparently. Yeah, haircutting and shaving. Well, no, apparently these are called tonsorial, uh, tonsorial parlor. Yeah, tonsorial parlor. And bar parlor. barber surgeons, they, pre they perform teeth extraction, leaching, bloodletting, surgery, and enemas. 
as well as barbering. Well, there you go. Those guys. Wow. Are, those are important guys. This is where they did it, huh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they got a lot of guns on display. A lot, a lot of guns. Yeah. Guns that won the West. Huh? Legendary lawman of Dodge City. It is a gunfight. Fixing to happen. <laughs> so this is the jail. Mm -hmm. she a female criminal? Mm -hmm. They make saddles here. It's even got the cool wooden floors. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, Undertaker supplies. <laughs> wow. Let's see what's over here. Boot shop. And over here. Post office. And we got a bank in here. It smells old in here. <laughs> if you count carding in the end, you get pretty good at it. <laughs> well, there's a, the modern game kind of derived from that. They call crap on your neighbor. Yeah. A photography studio where you get a picture. <laughs> cool, huh? Uh huh. Wow, and look at those cameras. Yeah. Compared to the one I have in my hand. And, Compared to the uh, one I have in my phone. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Got a restaurant, an ice cream parlor, but it's closed. Oh, Boom. it's some ice cream. Yeah, it's closed. No ice cream for us. So the stuff closes right before this, before they start. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, people are getting ready for the show. Kind of a big crowd here. Let's see what's down here real quick. Got a church over here. Something smells good. It smells like somebody's cooking something. Mm. Occidental or Occident Saloon. I don't think it's open. And I guess this is probably just a house of the era, huh? I guess. Let's go see. Yeah. You want to go see? Oh, you want to go see it? Okay. Yeah. We'll see it. Looks like we can go in. Yes. Oh, we can go in. Yeah, so dining room. This would be the kitchen, huh? Wait, what is the era? The late 1800s? Yeah, 1880s. Okay. Most likely. That's when all the crazy stuff happened here. Okay. I guess this is where they take a bath. Yeah. Weekly bath. <laughs> Gross. Public opinion about bathing began to shift in the middle and late 18th century. Yeah. When writers argued that frequent bathing might lead to better health. Mm. Plus, uh, not smell so bad, right? Yeah, exactly. That's kind of cool. Can't go on the second floor. Well, I was quite aware of that. That big sign kind of yeah. gave it away. It sucks. I want to see it. So sneak up there I'm anyway. Still stuck, I'm still stuck on the bathing thing. They all shared the same water. So the cleanest person bathed first and the dirtiest person bathed last. <laughs> Wow. 
the Union Church. I wonder if we can take a look see inside. And let's see. We can. Wow. Yeah, we got everything here. Yeah. Full on church. Mm -hmm. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Very much so. All right, the gunfight's getting ready to start. So we better find a seat. All right, we are waiting for the gunfight. Starts in a couple minutes. Do a slow pan over the frontier city. We got some Texas cowboys causing a ruckus. <laughs> There's no guns allowed in Dodge City. All right, that's far enough, game. Hold it up right there. Stop right here. That's far enough. Keep your hands away from the guns. Come in town. Got some uh, ladies of the evening over here. At the saloon. Yeah. We got some drunk cowboys fighting. <laughs> Right. That was a good one. I'm gonna rob this store. Alright, so that was uh, that was fun, huh? Watching the gunfight. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So we're gonna go to a brewery that we can walk to right over here. Wait, brewery is one of my favorite words to say. Try to say it ten times ten times in a row. Okay. Say it. Brewery, 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 brewery. Brewery, brewery, okay. You just sound like you have a mouthful of marbles. Yeah, I guess so. I can say it. It, it ends up being like brewery, brewery. <laughs> I can say it. I think you're the only one who can't say it. Shut up. All right, Dodge City Brewing Brew Pub. So this is where we're going to go now. Cool. We're going to have uh, some drinks and dinner. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Yeah. All right, I got Hoodoo Brown, a stout. And what did you get? Can Can Girl. Can Can something. <laughs> yeah, Can Can Girl. It's a guava sour here. It's definitely sour. Beer that they make right here in this brewery. And we got a pizza coming. All right, our pizza's here. It is what sausage, pepperoni, and onion and peppers. So, uh, so we are ready to dig in. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That pizza was pretty good. What do you think? I really like the pizza a lot. Yeah, that's pretty good. I wasn't crazy about the beer I chose, so I didn't finish it. But the pizza itself was very, very good. You didn't like your beer, huh? I liked my beer. Anyway, that's it for this part of the video. Stay tuned for the review of the hotel coming up right now. We stayed at the Holiday Inn Express here in Dodge City. There's the building. We are not particularly crazy about Holiday Inn Express. They are wildly inconsistent, but this one's been pretty good. And the best reason to stay in this one is its location. That's Boot Hill uh, Museum right over there. And downtown is there. Lots of dining, including this restaurant right here. All walking distance. So you can park your car here at this Holiday Inn Express and uh, just walk everywhere you need to go. It's really handy. And uh, there's more too. I'm gonna go to the other side of the building and show you what's there. Okay, I'm at the other end of the hotel. Like I said earlier, it's about the location. Right next door is a water park. And uh, over here is the zoo. So, you could bring your family here, stay in this hotel, park your car and not have to get in it again. Because everything's here. Walking distance. The museum, the old downtown, everything. So uh, now that I've shown you the exterior, let's go take a look at the room. You ready for the room? Sure. We're in room 411.
We get a look at the room. We opted for the bigger room. That's good because we've got a lot of stuff. Yeah, so uh, this bigger room has couch, king size bed, little sitting area, a desk, which is where I'll be working, TV, I can't even get this little board, uh, wardrobe. Yeah, you take this because it's yours and I can't get it to move. All right, honey, I, I, I'm talking about the room. All right, and then uh, it's got a little nook for our kitchen. And here's the bathroom. So there it is. Looks pretty nice so far. What do you think? Yeah, it, it definitely looks nice. I love when we get uh, a bigger room. Yeah, it's got lots of space. All right, so that's the room. The hotel has a pretty good gym. Got a couple of uh, ellipticals here, which we use. Of course, treadmills, that kind of thing, a bench. And they've got the full suite of weights, because I, I do do some weight training. So yeah, that is good. Now let's go check out the pool. All right, this is the pool area. As you can see, it's an indoor pool, which, it's great in the winter, obviously, but here in July, when it's 100 degrees outside, we'd much rather be outside. Luckily, this hotel <laughs> has this huge water park right next, right next door. They have a decent breakfast, uh, biscuits and gravy, not from scratch, uh, really good sausage. They have these microwaved cheese omelets that I really don't care for. They have their famous cinnamon rolls, and uh, the orange juice is pretty good. They also have oatmeal and cold cereal, and they also have their famous pancake machine, plus some uh, pastries. Okay, our time in Dodge City is over. And uh, what did you think of the hotel? The hotel? It was pretty good. Um... I like the gym for the most part. They didn't have my favorite elliptical, but besides that, I did like the gym. Okay, and the room, was it like clean? Uh, the room was nice and clean, and Holiday Inn Express, they always give you like a roomy room, you know, roomy yeah. room. Spacious so, room. Yeah, this is a spacious room. I like the way I said it better. But yes, it's a roomy room, and um, well, yeah, and it was and it was clean, so. Clean and roomy. So, you know, our recommendation, if you come to Dodge City, this is one of the best places to stay because of the location, as I've shown you. Uh, how do you rate the hotel overall? Out of five? Yeah. 3.9. 3.9 for you. I'm going to do a little higher, 4.3. Oh, that's right. I think that's because you uh, had some breakfast and you liked yeah. it, right? Breakfast is okay. All right, so uh, we are heading up into Nebraska next. Be looking for that video. It's not cold. <laughs>